Apollo 14 was the eighth manned mission in the United States Apollo program, and the third to land on the Moon. It was the last of the H missions. Targeted landings with two day stays on the Moon with two lunar AVAs, or moonwalks. Commander Alan Shepard, Command Module Pilot Stuart Rusa, and Lunar Module Pilot Edgar Mitchell launched on their nine-day mission on Sunday, January 31, 1971, at 4.03, 2.00 p.m. Est. Liftoff was delayed 40 minutes and 2 seconds, due to launch site weather restrictions, the first such delay in the Apollo program. Shepard and Mitchell made their lunar landing on February 5 in the Fra Mauro formation, originally the target of the aborted Apollo 13 mission. During the two lunar AVAs, 94.35 pounds kilograms of moon rocks were collected, and several scientific experiments were performed. Shepard hit two golf balls on the lunar surface with a makeshift club he had brought with him. Shepard and Mitchell spent 33 half a hour on the moon, with almost nine half a hour of EVA. In the aftermath of Apollo 13, several modifications had been made to the service module electrical power system to prevent a repeat of that accident, including a redesign of the oxygen tanks and the addition of a third tank. The launch had been scheduled for October 1, 1970, and was delayed about four months. While Shepard and Mitchell were on the surface, Rusa remained in lunar orbit aboard the command and service module Kitty Hawk, performing scientific experiments and photographing the Moon, including the landing site of the future Apollo 16 mission. He took several hundred seeds on the mission, many of which were germinated on return, resulting in the so called moon trees. Shepard, Rusa, and Mitchell landed in the Pacific Ocean on February 9. Kiru <laughs> Shepard was the oldest U.S. astronaut when he made his trip aboard Apollo 14. He is the only astronaut from Project Mercury the original Mercury 7 astronauts to reach the Moon. Another of the original seven, Gordon Cooper, had, as Apollo 10's backup commander, tentatively been scheduled to command the mission, but according to author Andrew Chaikin, his casual attitude toward training, along with problems with NASA hierarchy reaching all the way back to the Mercury Atlas 9 flight, resulted in his removal. The mission was a personal triumph for Shepard, who had battled back from Meniere's disease which grounded him from 1964 to 1968. He and his crew were originally scheduled to fly on Apollo 13, but in 1969 NASA officials switched the scheduled crews for Apollos 13 and 14. This was done to allow Shepard more time to train for his flight, as he had been grounded for four years. Topic. Backup crew Topic. Support crew Philip K. Chapman Bruce McCandless, 2 William R. Pogue C. Gordon Fullerton Topic. Flight directors Pete Frank, Orange Team Glenn Lunny, Black Team Milton Windler, Maroon Team Gerald D. Griffin, Gold Team Topic. Mission parameters Geocentric Mass, CSM 29,240 kg, LM 15,264 kg Perigee, 183.2 km Apogee, 188.9 km Orbital inclination, 31.12 degrees Orbital period, 88.18 Mincelino-centric Paraceline, 108.2 km Apocelline, 314.1 km Orbital inclination, degree 
Orbital period, 120 minutes Landing site, 3.64530 degrees south to 17.47136 degrees west or 3 degrees 38 minutes 43.08 seconds south to 17 degrees 28 16. 90 inches W. Topic LMCSM docking. Undocked, February 5, 1971, 4 hours 50 minutes and 43 seconds Coordinated Universal Time. Docked, February 6, 1971, 20 hours 35 minutes and 42 seconds Coordinated Universal Time. Topic Avas. EVA 1 start, February 5, 1971, 14 hours 42 minutes and 13 seconds Coordinated Universal Time Shepard, EVA 1 Stepped onto Moon, 1454 Coordinated Universal Time LM Ingress, 1922 Coordinated Universal Time Mitchell, EVA 1 Stepped onto Moon, 1458 Coordinated Universal Time LM Ingress, 1918 Coordinated Universal Time End, February 5, 19 hours 30 minutes and 50 seconds Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 4 hours, 47 minutes, 50 seconds of a 2 start, February 6, 1971, 8 hours 11 minutes and 15 seconds Coordinated Universal Time Shepard, Eva 2 Stepped onto Moon, 8.16 Coordinated Universal Time LM Ingress, 12.38 Coordinated Universal Time Mitchell, EVA 2 Stepped onto Moon, 8.23 Coordinated Universal Time LM Ingress, 12.28 Coordinated Universal Time End, February 6, 12 hours 45 minutes and 56 seconds Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 4 hours, 34 minutes, 41 seconds. Topic. Mission highlights Topic. Launch and flight to lunar orbit Apollo 14 launched during heavy cloud cover and the Saturn V booster quickly disappeared from view. NASA's long-range cameras, based 60 miles south in Vero Beach, had a clear shot of the remainder of the launch. Following the launch, the Launch Control Center at Kennedy Space Center was visited by U.S. Vice President Spiro T. Agnew, Prince Juan Carlos of Spain, and his wife, Princess Sophia. At the beginning of the mission, the Apollo CSM Kitty Hawk had difficulty achieving capture and docking with the LM Antares. Repeated attempts to dock went on for 1 hour and 42 minutes, until it was suggested that Rusa hold Kitty Hawk against Antares using its thrusters, then the docking probe would be retracted out of the way, hopefully triggering the docking latches. The sixth attempt was successful, and no further docking problems were encountered during the mission. Topic. Lunar descent After separating from the command module in lunar orbit, the LM Antares had two serious problems. First, the LM computer began getting an abort signal from a faulty switch. NASA believed that the computer might be getting erroneous readings like this if a tiny ball of solder had shaken loose and was floating between the switch and the contact, closing the circuit. The immediate solution, tapping on the panel next to the switch, did work briefly, but the circuit soon closed again. If the problem recurred after the descent engine fired, the computer would think the signal was real and would initiate an auto-abort, causing the ascent stage to separate from the descent stage and climb back into orbit. NASA and the software teams at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology scrambled to find a solution, and determined the fix would involve reprogramming the flight software to ignore the false signal. 
The software modifications were transmitted to the crew via voice communication, and Mitchell manually entered the changes amounting to over 80 keystrokes on the LM computer pad just in time. A second problem occurred during the powered descent, when the LM landing radar failed to lock automatically onto the moon's surface, depriving the navigation computer of vital information on the vehicle's altitude and vertical descent speed. This was not a result of the modifications to the abort command, rather, the post-mission report indicated it was an unrelated bug in the radar's operation. After the astronauts cycled the landing radar breaker, the unit successfully acquired a signal near 18,000 feet 5, meters, again just in time. Shepard then manually landed the LM closer to its intended target than any of the other five moon landing missions. Mitchell believed that Shepard would have continued with the landing attempt without the radar, using the LM inertial guidance system and visual cues. A post-flight review of the descent data showed the inertial system alone would have been inadequate, and the astronauts probably would have been forced to abort the landing as they approached the surface. Topic. Lunar surface operations. Shepard and Mitchell named their landing site Fra Mauro Base, and this designation is recognized by the International Astronomical Union depicted in Latin on lunar maps as Statio Fra Mauro. Shepard's first words, after stepping onto the lunar surface were, And it's been a long way, but we're here. Unlike Neil Armstrong on Apollo 11 and Pete Conrad on Apollo 12, Shepard had already stepped off the LM footpad and was a few yards away before he spoke. Shepard's moonwalking suit was the first to utilize red stripes on the arms and legs and on the top of the lunar EVA sunshade hood. So as to allow easy identification between the commander and LM pilot on the surface, on the Apollo 12 pictures, it had been almost impossible to distinguish between the two crewmen, causing a great deal of confusion. This feature was included on Jim Lovell's Apollo 13 suit, because no landing was made on that mission, Apollo 14 was the first to make use of it. This feature was used for the remaining Apollo missions, and for the AVAs of space shuttle flights afterwards, and it is still in use today on both the U.S. and Russian space suits on the International Space Station. After landing in the Fra Mauro formation, the destination for Apollo 13, Shepard and Mitchell took two moonwalks, adding new seismic studies to the by now familiar Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package ALSEP, and using the Modular Equipment Transporter MET, a pole cart for carrying equipment and samples, nicknamed Lunar Rickshaw. Rusa, meanwhile, took pictures from on-board command module Kitty Hawk in lunar orbit. The second moonwalk, or EVA, was intended to reach the rim of the 1,000-foot wide cone crater. The two astronauts were not able to find the rim amid the rolling terrain of the crater's slopes. They became physically exhausted from the attempt and with their suit's oxygen supplies starting to run low, the effort was called off. Later analysis, using the pictures that they took, determined that they had come within an estimated 65 feet 20 meters of the crater's rim. Images from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO show the tracks of the astronauts and the MET come to within 30 meters of the rim. Shepard and Mitchell deployed and activated various scientific instruments and experiments and collected almost 100 pounds 45 kilograms of lunar samples for return to Earth. Other Apollo 14 achievements included the only use of MET, longest distance traversed by foot on the lunar surface, first use of shortened lunar orbit rendezvous techniques, and the first extensive orbital science period conducted during CSM solo operations. The astronauts also engaged in less serious activities on the Moon. Shepard brought along a six-iron golf club head which he could attach to the handle of a lunar excavation tool, and two golf balls, and took several one-handed swings due to the limited flexibility of the EVA suit. He exuberantly exclaimed that the second ball went, miles and miles and miles in the low lunar gravity, but later estimated the distance as 200 to 400 yards 180 to 370 meters. 
Mitchell then threw a lunar scoop handle as if it were a javelin. Topic. Return, splashdown and quarantine On the way back to Earth, the crew conducted the first U.S. materials processing experiments in space. The command module Kitty Hawk splashed down in the South Pacific Ocean on February 9, 1971 at 2105 UTC, approximately 760 nautical miles 1,410 kilometers south of American Samoa. After recovery by the ship USS New Orleans, the crew was flown to Pago Pago International Airport in Tafuna for a reception before being flown on a C-141 cargo plane to Honolulu. The Apollo 14 astronauts were the last lunar explorers to be quarantined on their return from the moon. Rusa, who worked in forestry in his youth, took several hundred tree seeds on the flight. These were germinated after the return to Earth, and widely distributed around the world as commemorative moon trees. <laughs> <laughs> Mission insignia The oval insignia shows a gold NASA astronaut pin, given to U.S. astronauts upon completing their first space flight, traveling from the Earth to the Moon. A gold band around the edge includes the mission and astronaut names. The designer was Jean Beaulieu. The backup crew spoofed the patch with its own version, with revised artwork showing a Wile E. Coyote cartoon character depicted as gray-bearded for Shepard, who was 47 at the time of the mission and the oldest man on the moon, pot-bellied for Mitchell, who had a pudgy appearance and red-furred for Roos's red hair, still on the way to the moon, while Road Runner for the backup crew is already on the moon, holding a U.S. flag and a flag labeled First Team. The flight name is replaced by Beep Beep, and the backup crew's names are given. Several of these patches were hidden by the backup crew and found during the flight by the crew in notebooks and storage lockers in both the CSM Kitty Hawk and the LM Antares spacecraft, and one patch was even stored on the Met Lunar handcart. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft locations. The Apollo 14 command module Kitty Hawk is on display at the Apollo – Saturn V Center building at the Kennedy Space Center after being on display at the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame near Titusville, Florida, for several years. The ascent stage of lunar module Antares impacted the Moon on February 7, 1971 at 0 hours 45 minutes and 25 seconds.7 UT February 6, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 3.42 degrees south 19.67 degrees west, minus 3.42, minus 19.67 Apollo 14 LM ascent stage. Antares descent stage and the mission's other equipment remain at Fra Mauro at 3.65 degrees south 17.47 degrees west, minus 3.65, minus 17.47 Apollo 14 LM descent stage. Photographs taken in 2009 by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter were released on July 17, and the Fra Mauro equipment was the most visible Apollo hardware at that time, owing to particularly good lighting conditions. In 2011, the LRO returned to the landing site at a lower altitude to take higher resolution photographs. Topic. Gallery. Topic. See also Extravehicular activity Google Moon List of artificial objects on the Moon List of spacewalks and moonwalks 1965-1999 Moon tree Splashdown